Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. I'm back in your life with another episode of the Minecraft, and we have come to uh, some wildflower forest islands. And I wanted to stop. When you are on a uh, island that is just one biome, I guess we got desert nearby too. But we're all savannah. Where'd my boat go? Okay, okay. Don't do anything crazy. I have, I, we're having bad boat luck, I tell you that. Uh, but yes, you need to go get some things. Like, if we ever want to build with uh, birchwood, we gotta go find some seedlings. Because uh, they just don't exist uh, on Ocean's Gate. Uh, and I definitely like having some dyes around. Uh, mostly for clay. Clay is the most... Like the... the I forget what they're called. The stained clay. Those are some of the most beautiful blocks to build with in the game of Minecraft. If you're ever doing the, you know, the more modern look, uh, and staining them, kind of, whoops, stop freaking out. There you go. Uh, and changing the color of them is often really subtle and isn't as obvious as you think. Like the cyan dye. Am I inventory full? What? Am I inventory full? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, and look how. Oh, I'm not gonna have room for all this crap. Gorsh, dang it. Okay, you gotta go. Why did I bring all this paper? What an idiot. Inventory management, you fool. Why did I bring a fishing rod? Seriously, look how much mutton I've got. Totally unnecessary. Yeah, the expedition carries on today, guys. Uh, I am liking this. I am liking getting out of the routine. We were doing a lot of building, a little bit of mining. And uh, I was ready for uh, for something new. And uh, one of you guys in the comments, when I was asking for ideas, said, "Yeah, just pick a direction and go." And I'm a I'm a mapper. That's just I think we might have every flower type we need. I mean, I guess I could get more of them. Ah, uh, whatever. We know where these fricked up islands are. We know where they are. Ah, uh, fuck! I shouldn't even bring these stupid flowers along. Uh, and let's uh, keep going this way uh, But yeah, we carry on the exploration and it is yeah a good change. Uh, I love doing this stuff uh, I always like to get out and map and see what's around me I love how how endless the world of Minecraft is I mean it pretty much is right like there aren't even farlands anymore when you see farlands or bust uh, he's playing an ancient version of the game where it used to get really janky uh, as you got really far from spawn, I don't even know if it does that anymore. It's uh, the game is is very different than back in the day. There's a lot more to it. It's a lot more polished. Um, and and when you just get out here and it's endless and it keeps generating and you keep finding, you know, better, more beautiful spots. Holy crap! That's a lot of freaks. Look at this. Look at this freaking freak convention. Four creepers, three zombies, two skellies. Hey Zeus. But I mean, I remember some of my old Minecraft worlds. It was just like uh, the, the the game changed so much with that if you were playing a world like an old old world in a new one, when you would generate new terrain, it would just freak the f out. Like you just have sheer cliffs. Look at how deep this ocean is, man. Uh, it's such a gorgeous game, and it's all uh, algorithms, it's all math, everything. And guys, it hasn't been too exciting out here yet. Uh, a lot of flower uh, mixed forest islands. Uh, nothing crazy. So we might we might turn south because we have plenty of food, uh, plenty of supplies. I don't see us running out, and as long as I stay close to my boat and I don't get too crazy. Uh, we'll make it home safe. Oh, sweet! We found our own Nordragar! When this Let's Play started, I showed off five really great seeds, and don't hit me, and uh, put it up to a poll, a vote, uh, for people to decide where I was going to do it. Now, that's a silly idea when your channel is totally brand new, because you don't have enough people that care about you to uh, vote in a poll. But uh, Ocean's Gate won my favorite. I think it came third was Nordragar, which is this giant frozen continent. Uh, it had every cold biome, every single one. Oh, so there is a continent here. We just had missed it. We were too far north. Yeah, I love, love these exploration videos. 
Uh, these are fun. I won't do too many of these because there's almost nothing about the game to talk about, so it relies on me, uh, you know, keeping you guys interested, which is uh, not the easiest job in the world, although it definitely has gotten easier. When I first started sitting down at my computer and trying to talk the whole time that I was playing a game to record Let's Plays for this channel, it was awkward, and I would sometimes just, like, I, I just shut up and I couldn't think of the next thing to say. I couldn't get a single word out. Uh, and I would just go silent and go, how do they do this? How do people do this? But, you know, the longer you, uh, you know, I haven't even been doing it that long. Uh, but the longer you do it, the more comfortable you get. And the more your personality starts to show. I realized I was bottling myself up in those first few episodes. I was just so, uh, you know, sober, so kind of grim-faced. I just, uh, you know, I'd smile, but it wouldn't be a real smile. I wasn't being myself. I was trying to be this, like, super polished, presentable version of myself. And, uh, again, when you start to get near your first hundred hours of just you on YouTube, I'm sure uh, you start to lose the sensitivity to that. You start to realize, you know, these people, the people who watch your videos, are going to figure out who you are. Uh, and you're either going to succeed or fail because they like or dislike that real person. You can't really pull off being fake. Uh, especially, I mean, our generation, generation of kids that grew up with the internet. Our generation, everybody who grew up with the internet, we can kind of spot fake. It's the same way most of my friends don't really watch TV. Commercials and, you know, uh, n you know newscasters, it's gross. There's this fake way of talking. Uh, even a night, sh like a late show, whatever you call those uh, hosts, it's so formulaic. And oh, is that a different color witch? No, I'm crazy, right? I'm crazy, I'm sure. I don't want to get off my boat now and risk getting poisoned by a freaky witch. Um, but yeah, we, we spot fake. If people are trying to put on an act, we see it. We see it really quick. I think that's why, you know the last generation of TV is dying because, you know, the old world of sitcoms. I love Seinfeld and, you know, I'll watch Friends, but uh, trying to do that exact thing these days isn't quite going to work because we just won't buy how much bullshit there is in that. We kind of want uh, more reality. We really want to know who the people are. Uh, we're tired of seeing, you know, silly, fake, unbelievable characters. Movies are getting realer, TV's getting realer, video games are getting realer, uh, and you just can't pull off being anybody but yourself. If you guys are ever thinking of doing this, ever thinking of spending some time uh, making a YouTube channel, making silly videos like I do, just realize that you're gonna have to be you, you're gonna have to let the real you shine through, and that's why I don't, you know, emphasize being cool on this channel, I emphasize being geeky. I call you guys geeks. And I try and show my geekiest side, and uh, I try not to hold too much back. I figured you guys are probably ready for it, for me to be uh, myself. And if you're not, well, yeah, it's not much I can do about that. Uh, you know, as often as I'm doing videos, as often as I'm on this channel, uh, it's going to shine through my real personality. You guys will get to know who I am, what makes me tick. You guys are actually giving me great suggestions for videos now. Uh, it's something that I was really excited for when it would start happening. Uh, when you get oh, oh, stupid, freaking boat breaking. Dang, that's two episodes ago. Dang, cracking, slapping my boat around, and this time he just does it again. Uh, we're gonna have to stop and make. Frick, I've been rambling on for too long, guys. I'm gonna stop. Uh, get myself set up with another boat. I'm also gonna grab some spruce. Uh, you know, you know, we'll do that, and uh, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Oh lord, guys! I heard this thing coming from so far away; it was freaking me out. I didn't. I have not played much with bunnies. It's like my last great spurt of playing a ton of Minecraft before starting this channel uh, was was kind of before the bunnies. They're in a world I hadn't updated. I can't remember what, but 
I heard that coming, and that noise is so unfamiliar to me. It freaked me the f out. I, th- uh, I was, I had no idea. I was like, "Am I being trolled? Am I being pranked? What in the high holy hell is going on here? Can I not get this? I can get this, right? Yes, I can. Yeah, give me that. Oh, dang you, little freak! Should I kill it? I don't know. Are you supposed to kill bunnies? I don't. I'm. I know nothing of the bunny way, the culture of the bunnies. Uh, I'm still waiting for some uh, spruce saplings. That's what I really need. Uh, so I'll again, I'll get back to you guys when I am uh, when I am uh, back in the wild. And bunnies are freaky. That weirds me out. They don't. They feel like they don't belong in Minecraft. Such a strange little creature. Oh, hi, brown sheep. I need brown wool. I'll take it. Yes, this uh, is a vast continent. Oh, Baba Black Sheep, what's going on with you? Yeah, I'll kill you, destroy you with my blade. Get speaking of that, get be gone. And uh, oh, Goo Goo Gray Sheep, what am I? <laughs> get get wrecked, Gray Sheep. How about that? Such a wide variety of sheep colorings and hog. Hmm, some nice hog meat. Hog is a uh, like. Pigs used to be a great uh, animal to farm because you could uh, ride them, right? But then horses came along, and pigs, I think pork isn't as good as beef, and uh, moreover, uh, cows as a livestock give you leather, and the pigs give you nothing, and nobody rides pigs anymore. It just doesn't happen. It's unfashionable, right? All right, Geek Squad, we are geared up and ready to go, ready to hit the road again. Uh, let's get the old map going and get out of here. Yes, like I said, this is a vast continent. We are about to get, or we are quickly approaching a map edge. Uh, this thing is going to intersect with the southern edge of our map, and uh, we'll have no idea how big this is until we get another map. Um, actually, it's probably maps and maps away because with our island being at the very corner there, uh, the next three maps are clear. It's the one like to the north of us, the one to uh, the northeast, and the one to the east. Uh, we want to explore basically the four maps that will surround our base. So, geeks, I think we're pretty much here. We're at the bottom edge of this uh, continent, and clear we're not going to run out of continent anytime soon. Yeah, we have done it. So, back this way, I suppose, and we'll continue around the outside. Um, yeah, why don't I carry on until I find us something new and something exciting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have found some more land, and it looks boring as heck. It looks just like more uh, birch forest. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but if we uh, if we want to keep finding cool new resources and mapping new biomes, I mean, I guess we didn't have a pure birch forest before, uh, so this is kind of new, but I want to discover something exciting. I want, you know, mesa. I want, uh, you know, jungle, plains, villages, crazy desert temples. I want, uh, I want something more that we haven't seen, and I want access to new resources. I mean, that's the greatest part of this journey. Oh, heck, we're going to have to go right around this thing. This is a real peninsula. Last episode, guys, we were talking about how memories uh, can't always be trusted, nor can history. Uh, we got crazy, you know, like, through rose-colored glasses stories about explorers of the past, about the people who explored, you know, North America, the New World. That's a freaky-looking bunny. I don't like bunnies. I do not like them. Nor do I like witches. Get wrecked, you stupid witch. Uh, but yeah, that is a, you know, I went to school for history. And I can tell you, most of the history that you get on TV is like pop history. It's the stuff that people want to hear about. Uh, the real stuff, the stuff you get into in university is boring as heck, and it's usually depressing as heck, too. But, uh, the biggest lies you were ever fed in school are the ones about guys like Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is like a, 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 just like a human rights violator, war criminal of epic proportions. Uh, 
other famous guys, Cortez, just c c committing genocide on vast populations while simultaneously robbing them. Oh, this is a cool little island. Man. All right, guys, I'm going to sail away. I'm going to set a course for the open sea. And uh, not to quote, what is that, sticks? Uh, but yes, I'm going to uh, keep going until I find something new to show you guys. Yes, more land. Land ho. Land ho indeed. What is this? Yes, dark oak forest. Roof forest. Guys, we have, we have set our sights on new lands. Just like Christopher Columbus himself did. We will rape and pillage these lands in his footsteps. Uh, I'm seriously going to go gather up uh, some dark oak. That looks like more birch forest. I'm not too worried about that. So why don't, you know what, why don't we head up this coast and I'll, uh, I'll go in where the dark oak ends. Uh, but yeah, history, I mean, we, you get fed oak swamp too. Heck yes. Uh, well, I guess we don't, there's not much we can get from a swamp. There could be some slimes. Oh, and we could get uh, some of those rare flowers I was talking about. Cool. Well, we'll uh, we're gonna set up shop right here. But uh, another one that uh, it's funny because the uh, last uh, uh, one of the first series I played on the channel, the most recent Total War game, was Total War Attila. And so what I would be putting my tags in. I don't know if you guys know much about. Uh, tagging on YouTube, but it helps uh, YouTube know what your video is about in the first few days that it's out. Um, and uh, I don't need you, you're an oak tree. Get off me. Get wrecked. Uh, oh, yeah, this is deadly. I don't like it here at night. I don't like it here at night. Where's your little freak friend? Get wrecked, fool. Oh, there you are. Idiot. I don't like it here. This is deadly. Let's light it up. Let's light it up like the 4th of July. Yeah, baby. Nobody's coming in here. Nobody's coming in this ring of fire. Where are you at? Spider freak face, probably on top of me. Okay, what? Now, what the hell was I saying? Attila. Yeah, so when I was doing my tags, I would be putting Attila, as in Attila the Hun, in there, right? And this is somebody who is like, who is responsible for, you know, vast murders and. Uh, like just many, 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 many thousands of people died at his hands, right? And when you type it in, Google or Google, YouTube, whatever, they auto finish things for you often. Uh, so if I start typing, say, uh, Katy Perry, it's gonna type in, it's gonna auto complete the Katy Perry brackets, you know, pop musician or some nonsense like that, right? Uh, and so when I did it with Attila the Hun, it's like Attila the Hun politician like that is uh, a little bit of an understatement that's like going you know uh, uh, Adolf Hitler um, diplomat mm, doesn't really tell the whole story it's I don't know it's it's kind of like oh get away from me oh that's good my axe broke I needed uh, to finish blowing up that tree thank you uh, how did I? I took no hearts of damage. I'm an invincible man. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. I didn't expect to be doing so much lumberjackery this episode. Uh, but we just keep coming across rare woods. Let's use a little of this iron. Use a little of the good stuff. Yes. Oh, look at that efficiency. Impressive. Uh, so let's power this through. Let's just take this tree down. Hopefully we get an F ton of saplings. I need more. I don't even have enough to do one tree. But look, at my I've got a freaking inventory just full of the wood. I just need the dang saplings. I guess I could just start doing this. There we go. Yeah, I'll just do this until I got a decent number. All right, guys, we are geared up and I'm ready to hit the road again. So guys, this uh, has been another expedition episode, but I think I think I should call it there. I've been recording for a fricked up hour. Uh, so that's going to be at least two episodes. It could be three, and I haven't done the right intros and outros. So if the last couple episodes have been lacking those things properly, I apologize. But uh, I feel like we've done a decent amount of exploring. I'm going to have to go back out and do it again. I'm at least going to get us home. If you look, uh, I'm going to hop into the map here. Uh, if you look... Uh, we got a little bit of a ways to go. I got that whole other coast. 
So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys for this episode uh, of me playing Minecraft at Ocean's Gate. Actually, far from Ocean's Gate as it stands now. And I will see all y'all in the very next episode of the Minecraft. passes through and left alone with the same old excuse.